In this super quick video, I'm just going to go over the basics of how I design the doll's faces. So here are three designs all coming from the same doll base. So first you have to strip off all of the paint so you can see what the actual moulding of the doll is. So on the Monster High ones, they've got quite a sharp cheek. Um, this is based on Draculaura, so she's got the pointy ears and also they have slightly different sculpting for the eyes. So they've kind of got the same nose and mouth, but you have to get that all down before you're kind of getting into the main three steps. So the eyes, the mouth and the decoration. So these are th the ways that you can differ. So you can go inside the lines, outside the lines. You can do different pupils, though. <laughs> I'll get into that in more detail when it comes up. And you can decide whether or not to emphasize the pre-existing sculpting. So this one, I haven't used the... I haven't got as deep of the inside line. You can go below or outside the line and have really fun pupils <laughs> and obviously just like details within these can completely differ like the expression of the character so you could have inverse colors or crazy colors you could have a pupil of crazy patterns or no patterns and it gets a bit more complex with the lips because it's very strictly moulded. But you can add teeth, you can go inside, outside the line, try to shift it down. You, of course, can make new things. You can paint on new features like stripes and patterns or fun noses. You can add with clay, add ears where they already were or add new ones. And then just the general detail of character building that you go through. So we've got a cat character. This is kind of a hair metal glam girl. Of course I haven't even gone into like masculine, feminine outfits. Whether they... I mean this is actually character design for my latest or coming up repaint of the... what's it called? Uh, the Zodiac and so you can add horns, ears, there's, you can just make new faces, quite honestly, add beaks and any sort of crazy stuff that you can dream up. So, yeah, when you get to this, of course, you design the face, make new faces, but then you get to colour in. Because, like, there's a lot of character design in colour coding. You can have the most fun colours, you can have drab colours, you can have natural colours, you can make it soft or harsh or fun. Thank you for coming in, guys. Mm -hmm.